What would you say is the root cause of perpetual conflict in a, in a relationship? Perpetual conflict is that thing that you guys fight over and over and over again, right? And so if you're always fighting over the dishwasher and you've been doing it for <laughs> 10 years, you have to ask yourself, what's going on here? So you got to look for the deeper meaning. Points to things like love, intimacy, money, sex, parenting, all the big issues. I'm going to show my cards today and be a little vulnerable. So when I drive through our neighborhood and everyone's lawns are crazy and they're really high, I wig out. And Stephanie has to talk me off the ledge because I'm like, what's going on, you know? And so I thought about it and I unraveled it. Now, when I grew up, I grew up in government housing for a while. I was on government assistance. Nobody mowed their grass in those neighborhoods. One guy had a lawnmower sitting there the whole summer in his front yard, you know, and never used it. And so the symbol of the tall grass to me was poverty. So Stephanie and I have been married 25 years. We have a great life. We live in a nice area, have a nice house. But when I drive through there and I feel impoverished, I don't like that. And I start getting anxious about it. So when I told her about this, so this is the piece that'll hopefully get you free, is when I explained to her how I felt about that, it brought patience and empathy on her end. Oh, I get it. I never saw it like that, okay? So that's the root of that. Also, when I told her about that, I was able to relax a little bit and be like, okay, I figured it out. I worked through it and I made meaning of it. So again, the way that you work through that is you have to begin to share your stories.